All right, guys, what's up? Welcome to the show. Here today, myself, Carlos, Chris, JP, right here. We got a few things to talk about today. Well, some things that came out this uh, this week and weekend, you know. Uh, well, for, I guess the first off would probably be the Suicide Squad, you know, how the numbers went. And uh, I mean, everybody expected that, you know, went from like, uh, what was it? It was a 69% drop. Guitar but, match another weekend. Like yeah, 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 I mean. So, uh, I mean, the whole Suicide Squad thing, we're just it's like beating a dead horse, guys. I mean, check out our review. We have a spoiler-free review, and then one where we go in-depth about scenes and stuff. I mean, uh, you can hear all the talk about it. And uh, So that was one of the main things, you know. I mean, either way, it's the one box office throughout the week, throughout the weekend. Sausage Party. But, uh, yeah, well, yeah, it beat Sausage Party. But <laughs> Sausage Party uh, beat uh, Suicide Squad on Friday. Yeah. Which was, you know, everybody was like, what the fuck, right? It's an animated film, and it said Rogan. Go watch it. Uh, Don't watch it with your mom. <laughs> That's okay. Hell no. Not kidding. Don't watch it with your mom. <laughs> It'll leave you fucked up. Uh, so uh, another thing that came out today was the Batman VR game. Uh, I mean, you saw the trailer, right? Yeah, I saw the trailer. Uh, it looked pretty cool. I saw the trailer. We were in the trailer. You know what I'm yeah, talking yeah. about? Yeah. Well, no, not really. Really cool. I mean, I, yeah, <laughs> you know, but, uh, I mean, the coolest part was when he grabs the cow. Yeah, and I thought like, that was cool. You know, it's about to put it on. I thought it should look badass. I mean, uh, it, hopefully it, it comes out. I mean, I just want some form. Some gauntlet, <laughs> some gauntlet action, you know? It's no, obviously it's no Arkham, like, Knight or Arkham City. But, I mean, it, it looks like it'll be fun. Uh, well, that I that mean, VR that shit, man, makes you nauseous as fuck, though. So, I don't know how that's going to be. Uh, but, I mean... Really? Yeah. I've, I've never tried, tried a VR. I've so tried it out, and this shit makes you really nauseous. Like, well, what game were you playing? Were you playing? I was game? playing like a horror game. I don't know what it was. That's probably why like, it made you nauseous. Some though. kind of little demo, <laughs> but like just moving around and shit, it just felt like because you have like this weight on your head. Well, yeah, it makes sense. And it's moving at the same rate as if you long term neck problems. Yes, I don't know. It it felt, it made me feel like kind of sick. So like, especially like if you're gonna be fucking throwing batteries and shit. Was this before or after Jack Taco? Uh, <laughs> no, nah, Jack Tacos are the shit. What's, what's next on the list? So, uh, I mean, you know, going into Batman and, you know, bringing up the Justice League and all this stuff, uh, Michael J. White was saying that he wants to play Black Mike. I think he'd be the best. I, think, I mean, besides, uh, what's his name? Uh, Andrew Selva? I think he'll Which be the next. He, he can't because he can, yeah. obvious reasons. He's with Marvel. I mean, that's probably the smarter choice. <laughs> well, <laughs> yeah, I guess so, but uh, yeah, I guess so. I mean, it's but just, I mean, it's Mike, you can't go wrong with Michael J. White. I think that would be the best cast. I feel like so, he looks the, be the best. So, so if it wasn't Michael J. White, who would you pick? Well, uh, Kevin, Kevin, Kevin Hart. Kevin Hart. Kevin Hart. <laughs> the Rock. The Rock as like Manta. Denzel Washington. Denzel Washington. Washington. Denzel Washington would be good, but I feel like he's old as fuck. Yeah. Black he could be like an. Well, I mean, like, he's not. He. I mean, Black Manta is not like. Isn't I mean, he sort of like the same age? He better be in his helmet though. That's the only problem. Like he I don't want to, because himself. if they get a high profile actor, then the man's not. He, I guarantee you, <laughs> <laughs> he's not gonna have his helmet on. <laughs> nah, he's, he's not. He's not. He I mean, it, that's, that's what happened with that shot, though. Yeah, like, like you know, have, that's what I did. Look, like so let me see. Like Captain America, like the first movie, he has his mask on oh, all the, the freaking time. Yeah. And then like he shot after Avengers, like became high profile. Everybody knew who Chris Evans was. Even Iron Man's been now, yeah. <laughs> Iron Man never has his helmet on for no, some freaking reason. Yeah, that's true. I mean, God forbid, bro, the next Spider Man movies, like, he doesn't wear his mask, I'm walking out the goddamn theater. <laughs> like, so that's, I mean, I'm, I'm don't get guy. don't get some famous actor. Like, we don't need it. Black so, Manta is known for his whole costume. Like, well, I think, well, Michael, yeah, I mean, the helmet. I think Michael J. White would suit right. I, that's what I'm saying. Like, yeah, he, like he's, he just, he's known enough, but not to the point, like, oh, we gotta show his face, or else he's gonna get pissed. Like that Ripped enough. Yeah, boy, like, martial artist. You know, where like he could just like, yeah. Like, they could be like battling in like half the suit is ripped, and we got like some ab action. Yeah, half <laughs> like, shot. You know, it'll look sick. Not, I mean, like, not, not a lot of people know who Black Manta is either. Like, like no, I mean, is that yeah, Black yeah, Panther with a big helmet. Like, <laughs> oh yeah, he managed, he managed to keep his helmet on for now. Yeah. So well, I mean, uh, yeah, because I mean, in uh, he, he, Young he, Justice, he takes off his helmet for you know a certain period of time, but it's not like yeah, and I mean. I don't know, like the that's what defines him though, the helmet. Yeah, it's yeah. the helmet. Like that's yeah. how you know he's it black. Gives him that personality. And it's the suit that gives him his abilities. Like he's just an average guy. Like he doesn't yeah. have any powers. 
It's all like just technology. Does he have stuff. like a weapon? I don't even know. Does he have? A <coughs> uh, his eyes. I think yeah, his eyes. His eyes shoot lasers. Yeah. Okay. Uh, other than that, I think he just. Aqualad fights. is his son. Have, come on, man. Doesn't he have like a staff too or something like that? Uh, from I don't remember. I, don't, I can't I'm remember. Not entirely right. sure. I just know from like from what I've like seen in the you know animated series and stuff like that. He just yeah. he shoots lasers. He's really good with hand to hand combat. Which you know, I mean, I don't think Aquaman is known for his hand to hand combat. So. I think that's sort of how he has an edge on top of it. He just has a big-ass strength. Yeah. So, okay. so you I mean, you jumped into Aqualad. So who who would you be thinking about Aqualad if it happens to be that we see him in the big in the big screen? You see, Aquaman? I still can't. I mean, Michael, Michael, B. Jordan. Michael B. Jordan. Man, I would, I would have loved him as Aqualad. No bullshit. I can't think yeah. of him. I don't really know any... I mean, Kevin Profile. <laughs> 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 Hell no. <laughs> Enough with the Kevin Hart. Trend, man. <laughs> that, right? turn, you know what Kevin Hart's gonna happen? You know what's gonna happen to Kevin Hart? He's gonna turn to Adam Sandler. What about Will Smith's kid? Yes, exactly. <laughs> Who? Will Smith's kid. Jaden uh, Jane Smith? I oh, think he's he too young. Wouldn't he be too young? I don't know. He's already old. He was well, he look well, he would have to put some. What about some what about training. Romeo, bro? Romeo. Everybody remember Romeo? Yeah, I remember I think I, I don't know. Master P's that. son? Who? Master P, you know who Master P is? Romeo, he's like this big, like, even had like a, didn't he have like a Nickelodeon think, show yeah. or some shit like that? He's a rapper, isn't he? Yeah, he was like a rapper or a singer or no. something. Let's go we'll get Bow Wow. <laughs> <laughs> shit, I'll take it. Throw some damn blonde yeah, hair on him. I, I wouldn't mind Jaden Smith. I mean, karate. <coughs> Jaden Smith's going to get his dick cut off in a couple of months, so. Why? He wants to be non-gender, bro. For real? That's for next episode. <laughs> <laughs> All right. We're going to cover that <laughs> weird <laughs> issue. Probably have to cut that. Uh, <laughs> Deadshot's son <laughs> wants to get his penis chopped off. But, uh... <laughs> okay. <laughs> I don't know about that. We're going to we're gonna have to leave it for next Stay episode. Stay tuned for the episode. After hours. After so, hours. Uh, the next thing will be, uh... Jason Momoa. You know, same thing, Justice League. They've been eyeing him for the reboot of Crow. You know, who, in this case... Uh, I believe, uh, one I believe no, it's I know Brandon Lee, son of Bruce Lee, was the crow during uh, that time during the movie, and unfortunately he passed away because he got shot. Yeah, that movie's crazy. In, <laughs> in the freaking uh, chest with a real life uh, round. And uh, I mean, they released the movie, they went with the whole thing, you know, tribute to Brandon Lee and his last movie. Uh, but what did you see? That, you guys saw the picture of Jason Momoa as the crow, right? Yeah, I just saw it like literally a couple minutes ago, you showed me. Yeah. The, uh, I mean, I'll put uh, it. I'll put it right here. I feel like he looks better like Loba. Yeah, that's, that's, a, that's man. That would have been that would have been the shit. But I think we're just assuming that now. You know, I think we can go different ways with different different actors. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, uh, I don't know enough about Crow to like give you like an opinion. I mean, he looks awesome. I well, yeah, I mean, I, I mean, the, the whole Crow. I mean, it's a dark movie. You know, he, basically, he's a musician. He gets killed by gangbangers. I think he owes the money. I'm not sure. I'm not 100%. I think I watched the movie. Him and his girl get killed. Yeah, right? he's, him and his girl get killed. And, uh, he's like reincarnated, right? Yeah, and Crow lands on his fucking tombstone and the fucker just, wow, you know, he goes go seeks revenge and shit. I mean, it's, a, it's a good movie. It's a good movie. But. Speaking of tombstones, Superman in Black. Oh, yeah, Superman in Black. Next topic. We're just jumping through stuff right now, man. I mean, you know, this is a news article after news article after news article yeah, so yeah. jumping in real just quick kind of spreading them out guys giving you like a buffet of stuff that's happened this week yeah, yeah so. you know as we get settled down and see what we're doing uh well what we want to do in general but uh you know he said superman is in black that's the big thing this week guys is uh, uh big reveal is like a little tease from henry henry cavill on his instagram yeah on his instagram a little black suit action so. i just want to know where he got the suit from you, know, you, think you. Found, you think he got General Son suit or what? Nah, in, in, this is what happened. It still looks like it's the S symbol, like the hope symbol. But they all oh, yeah. have the but why is it black? No, though? General Zod didn't have the, o, no. the hope. He had his own, they had their own family logo. Yeah, the oh, they did? Yeah, no, they I had a remember. different logo for the for the General Zod family. We would have to look it up. Another ABC. <laughs> but I'll tell you why he turned black. He was, he was buried on the green ground for too long, and the dirt got into his suit. That's the reason why he came out black. Uh, Put some tight. Advertise. <laughs> Advertise. <laughs> nah, but, uh, I mean... I mean, that's a good question. How did you get it? I mean, it, right. so, like, let's see. It feels like if they're going with, like, the death, death of Superman comics. Yeah. When Superman came back, he was in a black suit. Yeah. There's even also a comic continuity where Darkseid, or, you know, say Darkseid, Darkseid, or whatever the hell. Darkseid. I don't know, I don't know how <laughs> so you... say Darkseid. DJ Khaled, 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 Khaled. Yeah, so I don't know how you DC fans say it. Yeah, no Darkseid. 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 Uh, even gets, like, he makes a clone of Superman, and the Superman's wearing a black suit. 
So I mean, do you think the whole Stephen Wolf thing is gonna play out? I mean, uh, dude, I don't see a Justice League movie focusing around Stephen Wolf as the freaking main villain. Yeah. I think that honestly, after the movie's gonna be Batman getting the people together. Yeah, that's what it is. And then Stephen was gonna show up like, oh, you know, we're gonna warn you guys that my boss is coming. You know, that's how it's, that's. If you watch the animated movies, is Steppenwolf even, like, fighting, bro? Yeah. He's not. Nah, yeah, you're right. It's literally, he's, like, standing right next to, like, freaking yeah. Dark Side's throne. Zack Snyder? Yeah, Zack Snyder. So are they replacing? I, I feel like they'll put him in a fight. They made Doomsday fight. <coughs> so are they making the Justice League movie? Because, you know, in the animated, in the animated film, uh, the, Justice League, the Justice League get uh, uh, united by... Doomsday, right? Yeah, like in a so they do. Like, you think that's happening with you know Paul, Stephen wait, Wolf, Dark Side. And, and Dark Side? Yeah, Dark Side. The Dark Side? Yeah, Dark, yeah, Dark Side. Side. It wasn't Doomsday. It was Dark Side. But I mean, I feel. Oh yeah. This the that's what I see. So like, yeah, you're right. Justice League, like in the anime movie, like they met in an event. So I see the way I see like the whole reveal of the black suit. Uh, you know, we, we already knew he was coming back. Like we already had the idea. Like okay, Superman's coming back. They teased a little dirt. Yeah. Little Inception type moment okay. at the end. But um, I feel like. The, literally, it's gonna be the first half is gonna be, you know, Batman doing the, his Nick Fury type thing, getting the team together, and then I literally feel like it's gonna be Steppenwolf finding Superman, corrupting him, and Superman's gonna be causing all kinds of fucking mayhem okay. in this city. So okay. you think <laughs> okay, you think Superman's gonna come back kind of like without memory? I yeah, I literally feel like Steppenwolf's gonna corrupt him, bro, and that's that's but who the Justice League had to take. But Superman over. was already coming back on his own, wasn't he? I mean, like, That's what, they, I mean. What, what I'm saying is, like, the way they set it up is, like, Bruce and Diana didn't know he's coming back. Yeah. yeah. They just sort of, oh, he's waking up. That's all they had. Yeah. So, yeah. what's to say that Steppenwolf didn't get to him first, you know? Yeah. Yeah. That's the whole thing is what I'm saying. And they even had, like, the little, like, if you watch the, the Justice League trailer, there's, like, a little snippet of these guys digging something up. Right? But that's the motherboard. Right. No, so, that's what I'm saying. Like, it's just, like, they set up, like they're, they're, giving, they're giving they're subtle, like, yeah. subtle hints as yeah. to, like, maybe... Bruce doesn't get the Superman first. You so know? who do you think the villain's gonna be? I just think Superman. Superman. Yeah, Superman. That's I feel like Superman? it's leading to Superman being the bad guy. I feel like it's gonna be Rotten Tomatoes. <laughs> <laughs> get out of here, dude. It's Zack Snyder. Nah, I don't know, bro. What do you want to see? I wouldn't mind seeing like an actual. Do you want to see Dark this? Side? This would actually be like the Batman or Superman movie. We should have got that if it would have been. I it feel like it would be a badass scene, Cyborg, Batman, Wonder Woman, all trying to like get together because essentially they can't beat Superman. Yeah. Uh, we already found out that Bruce is out of Kryptonite because he used it all, right? That was his last little. He used it on Doomsday. I mean, they there's no notion that he found any more. Yeah. Um. So there's literally no other way for them to like. They can't weaken him unless he left like a little piece. And I mean, and I'm we, pretty sure that he, there's still some left. We, we don't know how strong Wonder Woman is. We'll find out in her movie. Well, yeah. That's coming like, out. In, the, in Batman vs. Superman, they really... They, I mean, they showed how strong she is. Like, she took a couple of hits from Doomsday and, like, sort yeah. of, like... And she was happy. Shook it off. Like, like, she smiled. But is she as strong as Superman? Like, that's... I feel like that's a good thing, though. That, you know, that Superman is... Yeah, I mean, and, and Wonder Woman's, uh, like, thing in the comics, it was never really, like, oh, she's strong. Like, it was because she knew how to fight. And you could see it in Batman and Superman, like, yeah. she was, like, doing these, like, moves on dude, like, you know, sliding under him, taking out the legs first. I mean, you even saw the trailer, the trailer, yeah. for Wonder Woman well, looked badass. It looks awesome, and, like, you can tell, like, instead of worrying about, like, how strong she is, or her last, like, it's literally about her warrior side, you know? Yeah. She, she knows how to fight, she knows different fighting styles. I mean, she's been in her life for a long time. Yeah, yeah. so, I mean, that, I don't mind, I like that. So, I mean, it, and it feels like they're setting up the Justice League, like, each person has something that they need, and I feel like we're getting... It would make sense if they make Superman the bad guy, because that's the one guy that nobody can beat, like. And so they, they're going to have to each put their talents together, like, sort of to, um, I don't know, like, to beat. And it makes sense, because, you know, in Batman vs. Superman, we see Flash come back in time to warn them. Yeah, that Bruce, right. you were right. So why wouldn't it make sense for, like, Superman to be the, the eventual well, yeah, bad but that's, guy? yeah, that's the whole fact about, yeah, you know, Flash comes back, but isn't he, you're right about him. Uh, and then it was, it was Louis Lane all the time. Yeah, like, so, so the know, whole thing, like, thing. so if it... But that already happened. Zack Snyder sort yeah, of stole that from, like, the Injustice series, right? Yeah, but, but what he's saying is that it, that already happened, though. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. So, like, how do you know he prevented it? Yeah. Like, we have no, like, there's yeah, no guarantee that Bruce prevented the, the event 
that made Flash have to come back and warn them. Like, I wonder if maybe it hasn't happened. happened I, wonder what, I wonder what happened. You know? Oh, I, Lois Lane got killed. But I know, but like, how? And I feel like, I mean... Because he blames Batman. Yeah, if it's yeah. anything, like... I feel like Zack Snyder literally just jacked the whole freaking Injustice The whole Justice series. Yeah, well, Flash's uh, costume is literally Injustice, Injustice dude. Injustice, yeah. Like, it's ridiculous. So I feel like Batman's, it's Batman's fault that um, Lois Lane got killed. And you know who kills Lois Lane is the Joker. Yeah. Yeah. Like, and that would be perfect, like, to, to have Joker in there, like, you know, as, a, as a, like, a key villain. Cause they, Justice League? Yeah, because, I mean, they fucked up with Luke, Lex Luthor, good lord, you know. <laughs> It's because you, you know, the one thing that, up, I mean, Jesse one of, Jesus. Jesse Jesse the fuck Edward out of here. does the same thing he does in every movie. Right? He, yeah. He does the same. Uh, we got on the list is, uh, they just released, uh, I believe it was this morning, uh, Cyborg's going to be in the Flash movie. Yeah. I mean, they haven't said it to what extent he's going to be in it, so, I mean, what do you guys think? Cameo? Uh, big scene? I want him to do a little do it. Like a little, like a little duo. I can't, I can't, I'm, I, I'm tired of the whole thing, like, uh... Not knowing who they are and stuff like that, so I might as well just put the whole cyborg. I mean, Star Labs and Flash yeah. are you know together. Yeah, right? they're together. It's just so I would I would I would rather just have the origin story already set up in Flash. Yeah. You know, if it's not set up in the Justice League, I want to know who Vic, you know who Vic Stone uh, went through whenever. I guess the same. You know, yeah. Why was he? Why was yeah, like, we need to see why he was having the surgery? Yeah. I don't yeah. want to have to wait till freaking twenty twenty. So you know what we're going to see? You know what we could see? Let's say that Flash is at is at uh, the the uh, the game where Vic, Victor Stone is uh, you know playing football yeah, that, and stuff. That would be and good. we introduce Victor Stone as you know victory and all that stuff. You know yeah. throwing the ball, being the the football player that he is and type of stuff. And then I uh, guess a little bit in cooperation, you know throwing all oh, this on uh, the accident. And then we jump back into Batman vs Superman where we see him you know getting created by the mother bomb. I think that yeah. would be really cool. I mean, just a quick thing out there. It just worries me. Like it, all these people. Like, oh, you know, this guy's gonna have a cameo. Uh, who knows who's gonna pop up in the Aquaman movie? It just shows me that DC doesn't have faith in their characters to like. Just let it be a Flash movie, bro. Like, yeah. Why would you announce so freaking early that Cyborg is gonna be in the goddamn movie? Yeah, I would. I, I don't know why would they. As if people weren't movie. already excited for the movie, like you guys are like trying to throw these extra stuff in. You know, like. Well, I mean, it, it gives me a little bit more hype. Yeah, yeah you know? I mean, I like, like give me more, like give me a little it, bit more information. It you know? helps with because we already saw Flash in Suicide Squad. Yeah, now we gotta see Cyborg. Yeah. So, I mean, so yeah, I mean, I say yeah, give me more. You know, give me more, and then I'll decide whether I feel either like the they the fucked better, up or not. Yeah. You know? I don't know. I feel like well, a little bit too more, and then it'll ruin the whole movie. Like I remember soon. Yeah. <laughs> well, I don't know. <laughs> but uh, you know, yeah, give me more. I say give me more. You know, because yeah. you gotta wait fucking two years two to years. see the fucking next <laughs> movie. Another two years to see that, because then it goes boom, 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 boom. You know what I mean? Yeah. So, yeah, I would say give me a little bit more time. Like, who's going to pop up in one? Is this the recording? Yeah, it's the recording. All right, we're going to have to figure uh, Okay, so last thing on the list before we close up, guys, is the uh, last Marvel movie for the year, uh, Doctor Strange. I think it's the last comic book movie. Ever. Yeah, no, last comic book movie, too, of the year, uh, closing 2016. Uh, what do you guys think? Marvel's going to finish strong, or... Like, like, I was just telling you right now, I'm just worried about, like... No, they don't know that. They don't know we talk. I know. Outside of the camera. <laughs> That's what I'm getting at right now. We only we're talk when the camera's on, I swear to God. <laughs> like, when did y'all talk about it? I just saw you 30 seconds ago, right? Like, the, no, I'm just it's worried like, about it. <laughs> we just sort of like teleport here. All right, guys, we got to record. Well, not that, but yeah. like, the fucking movement, I think I was more over here. <laughs> X-Files, Steve Miller. All right, so. Uh, okay, so like I said, like, I, I, I'm a big fan. Of, I'm a big fan of the actor. Benedict has never felt me. Who you isn't, know? bro? I think we're and all. And I'm just kind of worried about, like, the audience that Doctor Strange will pull in. That's the only thing I'm worried about. Because I like he's a good actor. He's gonna nail it. I got no worries on that. I mean, be wrong. I'm just worried about the audience. I don't think so. Like, people. So let's say they see the trailer. What's the first thing that pops up when you see the trailer? What the fuck. <laughs> <laughs> like, what the fuck is? Yeah. No, 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 because, but look, no, because, no, because, no, because, no, because, for the trailer, though. Because, what the fuck? For the trailer, what the fuck? What's the first thing that pops up though? Marvel, right? Um, Marvel Studios. Yeah. yeah. That's all it takes, bro. Now what? I'll tell you this. Okay. I don't, I don't read a lot of comic books from Marvel, right? But I do watch the movies a lot. Well, every movie that comes out, I watch it, right? But like, the thing, <laughs> the thing is that since I don't know much about Marvel and stuff. I guess as a new, and I don't know who Doctor Strange is, as a new, you know, as a new character being introduced to myself, you know, not only me, but anybody who's just getting into comics because of all these movies, 
I feel like they're going to be attracted to it because like, oh shit, I'm going to learn about a new character. And if I like him, then I'll go buy his comic books as well, you know? So it's not only, I guess it's not only, not only for an audience who knows about comics, yeah. it's somebody who's being introduced to a new character every single time. They, it's not even that. Like, you just yeah. have audiences that are like, oh, it's a Marvel movie. I'm going to go watch it. Well, yeah. That's it. Well, yeah. Yeah. But I'm like, I'm talking about like the audience, those people that just go watch movies and don't know nothing about it. Yeah, you know I, mean, I mean, because I feel like I was, okay, we never talked about this, but <laughs> sure. I know Guardians of the Galaxy, nobody knew who they were. But it appealed to kids because there was like weird like alien looking things, you know? Not even kids, like but, I just feel like they they pulled on like the nostalgia strings, like but, the music but, they had in the trailer. Yeah. But, Dr. Like Suicide Squad. But, but but Doctor Strange I feel like won't have that effect on a lot of audience. I know comic book fans, any guy who watches any comic book movie will will most likely than not be like, I need to check that movie out because it's something new. But I'm just talking about those little numbers of those people that pretty much are like yeah, let's go watch that movie. You know, uh, on a random day. You know, you go to the movies and like, what movie should we watch today? Doctor Strange? What's that about? I don't know. I, 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 I know what where you're coming you know, from because there's a lot of people that say, like, those oh, no, people what the fuck? You know, you know superhero people, movies? What the hell? Like, you know, the people we shit. work with that don't yeah. know nothing about, that, you know, we know what we're talking about, but the people that, that we don't know about will be like, oh, yeah, Iron Man. I know who Iron Man is. Oh, yeah, I know who Batman is. Not only those are the worst. You know? I, they ask I, you, like, a trillion questions. Harley Quinn came up a lot. So a lot of, a lot of girls that I work with that work with nothing but girls. Oh god, yeah. I'm not looking forward they, to Halloween. They were like, they were like Hardy <laughs> Quinn, Hardy Quinn. Yeah. But Guardians of Ga- Guardians of the Galaxy, I feel like it appealed to a lot of kids, and that's why uh, like more audiences went because of the kids. Not just saying that it appealed to kids in general, but it's just there was a broader audience that could have been targeted versus Doctor Strange. I mean, I'm more. I feel like the trailer looks captivating. I mean, the visuals. I don't think they didn't. The trailer doesn't set you up. It doesn't feel like it's a superhero movie it doesn't like yeah. you no, just no. you just see a lot of weird like shit the, happening like the sequel to uh, Leonardo DiCaprio yeah like, yeah. It, it, like exactly yeah. like yeah. You, when, when you saw the trailer to Inception nobody knew what the fuck that movie was about I don't then know. you went to go see it and then you're like holy shit this movie's badass yeah. Yeah. like I feel like the trailer was captivating enough to get people to like get like yeah. oh you know we should go check it out and see what it's about and then once they finally see it they're like oh you know that's and I mean it's better than Cumberbatch bro like yeah yeah, yeah it, it just it looks interesting. I mean, I I've read comics, so I was, I'm like I'm talking as a fanboy. I mean, Doctor Strange. You know who he is? He's a doctor. But obviously. I mean, that's a, yeah. Come on, bro. <laughs> but Come that's on. what I mean, though. That's yeah, what I mean, though. We know, we know, we Don't know. Don't touch me on sterile. We know what I mean, bro. <laughs> but like we I'm know, what, you know, you know we, we know what we're watching. Yeah. So I mean, I I feel like it's gonna finish strong. A lot of people are coming off pissed off from Suicide Squad and Batman. No, and I man. think no, I, I think it's gonna come off strong too. Yeah, the people are gonna want to cleanse themselves from DC's filth. <laughs> This year, I'm a DC Marvel fanboy. Fan <laughs> Marvel fanboy. I'm a huge DC fanboy, but I do agree that it's gonna come out strong. Not only because, you know, it's been like you said, it's been a day coming back. Yeah, but who's not gonna see the fucking movie? I mean, did you not see that scene? If you're a fan of like, Inception, his thing. cape on, bro. Oh my god! But, but that's the thing. If you're a fan of Inception, you'll be a fan of this movie. Okay, <laughs> who, who who threw it on better and who took it off better? Jared Leto. Oh, he put it on way better than Jared Leto. <laughs> He did look. Let me show you, bro. Watch that trailer, guys. When he puts on his fucking cape, this guy does one little flick of the wrist, and the cape does this. I'm gonna put it. I'm gonna and put it's him, flapping I'm the right whole here. time, bro. I'm gonna put him right here. <laughs> and you decide. And I mean, I don't know. I like. I'm trying not to approach it as a fanboy, but I can't. It's hard for me not to. Like. Yeah. No. I. I mean, I understand. You know. I feel sorry for you guys when the Spider-Man movie's gonna drop because I'm gonna shut. The- I, I, I already feel like a nine, like a ten coming out of this guy's mouth when the movie was like a six. <laughs> See, they killed Benedict Cumberbatch, a fucking ten. Hey, that's, that's, that's what I mean. That's the, the thing, though. You're coming off of it as a fanboy. I don't know. We'll see. Yeah, Rotten Tomatoes is going to gonna decide, bro. Rotten Tomatoes is shit, bro. Ten dollars, it gets a higher rating than Suicide Squad. <laughs> oh, <No>, shit. <laughs> you guys are watching this live. Come on. Ten dollars, <laughs> and it gets a higher... It'll definitely be above a 26, I'll tell you that oh, right man, now. It's not going to drop like it did it's Suicide not, Squad. They won't do it, you know they what? They won't do it. it. Ex- They'll be like, he, 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 he nailed the rope. He is going to nail the rope. But that's what I mean. Like, <laughs> he already nailed the rope with that look. That's, a, that's what I'm saying, though. Like, Rotten Tomatoes are going to jump on that. No, I, I, I wouldn't, I'm, I'm not going to be big, I, I do agree. Okay, it's not going to it's not gonna flop like it did with Suicide Squad. And I'm pretty sure the reviews are going to be a little bit better. And, I mean, that's just it, you know. Ben yeah. become a branch. You're not going to... Yeah, I feel like it won't do better than, than Deadpool. Mm, and, no, and, and I, I, it might not do better than Deadpool. And, and it might I not feel, do better in Civil War either. And, and I feel like, for the same reason, that there's not that little crew of fanboys 
that are like because I heard there's so much talk about Deadpool. There's so much talk about everything else, and that's the one thing that I'm talking. But you know about. what? I think <coughs> I don't know. I feel like Deadpool got a little bit bigger ever since Ryan Reynolds was announced as Deadpool. Yeah. So I mean, know? yeah, but there was always that like little fan base. You know, well, a lot of it now, like yeah. a lot of the movies, man, it's not fan base now. So like, like yeah. what what killed Suicide Squad wasn't the fans; it was regular audiences. So that's what happened. Like, that's what you, I mean. Like, you talk to a fan, they're like, "Oh, Suicide Squad was like amazing." Talk to a regular person, like it was all right. It wasn't great. But that's know? what I mean. But the, that's where I was coming from. And I feel like that's why, like the trailer didn't pitch it as a superhero movie. Yeah. They try to pitch it as like it's a regular movie, like it just has like you know oh, regular super, fantasy movie. They're not put like they didn't put at all the trailer. Oh, we need you to save the world. Like, not nah, once. Nah, it wasn't. It wasn't said at all in the trailer. Since your favorite villain. Yeah, it's just it, it's implied, you know. Yeah. So, like, there was no cheesiness, there was no, like, campy lines, there was no dead shot in the freaking movie, you know? So, like, I feel like people are going to go see it, and it, they're going to react to it differently because it wasn't, like, marketed to them when a certain it way. When it come uh, it comes out November, November 11th, I think? Uh, yeah, early, I think it's early November. So, I mean, if you guys are down, we're going to go to the premiere. This guy's gonna come out smiling because I know he's gonna like the movie. No, I, I said I, I didn't I didn't dislike. I didn't he's, say that. I said the I said the first thing's gonna happen when we walk out the theater. He's gonna unbutton my pants. Like, <laughs> like, like I, I never I never said I didn't like it though. I never said that. All I said no, was yeah. Yo, all I said was the audiences, bro. Y'all don't want y'all don't want to put money on it. Yeah, it's no, gonna be I mean, better. I'm a green. I'm a, look, I'm a green. So that's gonna be better. better no. <laughs> look, so like look, we'll have to see when it comes out. All right, guys. Obviously. Uh, the we'll video that we do on Doctor Strange is going to be a big one because we're definitely going to go back to this video <laughs> and yeah, talk about all we the are. points. But uh, uh, that's it for today, guys. Uh, we went through a lot of points. Um, uh, you know, check back when we do our next episode. Uh, comment below on any of the comments that you guys thought, like, I mean, if you disagree with us, agree with us, you want to, you know, add some stuff, uh, we'll be happy to, like, Go back and forth with you guys. We got a problem with that. But uh, anything, any anything that you guys want to add or that you guys want to hear our thoughts on? Yeah, give us feedback, man. We really need feedback. Uh, subscribe, so, like you know, tag your friends as much as you can. Get a word out. But uh, so if you're a DC fanboy, <clears throat> he's secretly a fan. Believe me, look, he's wearing, real... <laughs> he's wearing DC underwear. They're, they're, now, <laughs> they're trying to overflow with the DC stuff. I'm the one guy that's trying to throw that Marvel stuff. Nah, man. Um, you look, everybody has their strong points, yeah. everybody likes their own, you know, stuff, <laughs> but I'm not going to disagree that the fact that Marvel does have some good movies and some good superheroes, but DC uh, is always going to be <laughs> right here. I, dude, I fucking love the first oh, Avengers. Oh, and Power Rangers. I love the first Avengers. Alright, so we'll see if we'll the, leave it at this. <laughs> we'll see if the opinions change, you know, later as the year progresses, so, uh, thanks for watching, guys, check back with us next time, uh, this has been the show, and see you guys later.